you liked the video, it will be my honor if you can like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And there are a lot more figure diorama photography as well as figure height comparison at the end of this video. So please watch and enjoy until the end. Now let's begin. Hello everyone, how's everybody doing today? And today we are going to be reviewing Fate Grand Order Figma 463 Saber Arthur Pendragon and well, this is known to be the prototype version of Arster, who is right here, and she is obviously a she in this Fate State Night and Fate Grand Order uh, saga. But we Japanese fans know this as not only prototype, but we also call him the Proto Saber because, uh, as we all know, Arster in in history well he's mostly known as a, a, a miss but in history Arthur is a guy and when the fate was uh, created the company type moon was made by two guys and one was a illustrator and one was a story maker and one day the illustrator made fate Saber into or Arthur into a female version because he saw that it would be more appealing to the audience if there's a gender swap on that. Now the the storyteller uh, who made the entire Fate story got very disappointed because he was like, "You changed my you know Arthur to a girl. Like why and how dare you?" But then he thought about it for a second and he was like, oh, "Well, actually." That might work because, you know, Saber, we all expect him to be a guy. And that's be done, you know, all the time. You know, swapping his gender might work. And unlike the, the stupid nonsense SJW's crap we get in Hollywood or Marvel Comic or DC, gender swap is done in Japan in a very uh, positive way. It wasn't uh, meant to nudge saying, you know, when you see Marvel Comics, for example, they make uh, the male character downplay to make the female character better. And to prove that, they what they do is they don't create an original female character. They bring a, a famous male character, for example, say Sor, and put him down like hell, making him unworthy so that he can lift his hammer, and gave a, a new female Sor, make her worthy. And give her the hammer. So that happens every time they get rid, rid of Captain America, who's the guy, and made Captain Marvel, who's the female, and make her a leader. Killed off Iron Man, Tony Stark, just because they want a female Iron Man and made a uh, Iron Heart. It's this this trend of twisting and looking down at a male character just because that they can you know create a female female character and try to make her popular by you know just insulting those legendary pre-existing character what being done in Marvel and DC and it kept being done for a while fan got disgusted and now Marvel Comics and DD Comics is about to go bankrupt in Japan the gender swap is very different we don't do that kind of crap we do it in a way that it's more entertainment because changing the female character to a male or male character to female, it's done in a way in a positive light. It makes it say the male character transform to a female character and we don't downplay the male character. You know, we don't make him unworthy or we don't kill him off. We, we make him cool still and yet transfer that essence to a female and giving her original concept. So it treats both sides in a very respectful way. So that's why the, uh, the, the author, the storyteller of the type moon was like, maybe it might work, you know, because he was like, I'm not gonna make my saber, um, Arthur Pendragon, which is the guy, I'm not gonna downplay him, I'll respect him, but I can still transfer the essence to a female version and we can still, you know, play with that. And that was a good idea because now Fate is a mega franchise. 
And now uh, this Proto Saber, sorry, uh, it took me a while to even open the box, but I wanted to talk about that because right now in 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 the u.s especially you know there's this thing is so sensitive because there's so many crazy sjw nonsense is going on and some people might say oh gender swap again but in japan that's nothing like that just consider it as they're completely out from the sjw nonsense bullshit in japan they, they don't play with anything like that they don't care about that only thing they care is if the fans having fun and if the character is treated good, that's the only thing they care. And that should be what Marvel and DC Comics should be caring. But they suck at it. So yeah, and, and Star Wars too. So the box, typical uh, open box. This is a quite big box for uh, Figma. But um, as you can see, he's a very tall character. Just that there's going to be a lot of empty space inside. And that's kind of typical with Figma box. But we also have an awesome um, promotional image on the side here we have a lot of promotional image and this one come with a hood meaning that the original or the prototype saber Arthur has a hood instead of well crown and so on he's a very young character as you can see but if anyone did um, read or watch the proto saber arc um, there's a short episode of him and he's a very gentleman he's like a really 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 nice guy so here he is proto saber yes and as you can see he is very very handsome <laughs> i know sometimes when guys say another guy handsome or charming you know some people might get it in the wrong way no I, i'm a straight guy so that i don't think um it's anything weird when a guy being honest calling another guy you know handsome or charming just because they are like for example uh tom hiddleston charming <laughs> and i think that's all right but yeah he is a um when i think of you know king arthur i always think of a a quite middle-aged guy with a beard you know and it's, it kind of throws me around if I see a, a, a very young... He looked like he's in his, you know, 17 or 18. Like, maybe maximum in the 20. He doesn't look, you know, anything like King Arthur. But it's anime. It's Japanese, you know, uh, media. Almost everybody who's, you know, a legendary um, old guys in history when they enter in a anime um, um, world they become like handsome you know very charming look and yes this King Arthur is the same he become very very charming <laughs> and you get two um, hair or head but I would call it a haircut <laughs> Because this one's a little spiky, this one's more round and so on. Um, I, I this is for specifically for the hood, and he also, other than this, you know, gentleman, very um, soft smile, you also get another very, very uh, charming girl killer kind of you know face, and you also get a a more serious face. And yes, as you can see, uh, if I compare him to the, the female counterpart beside him, yeah, he is very tall comparing to the female version of himself. Now I just keep wondering why this, you know, Saber became so small when the, the guy version is so tall. And I think it's just not um, because Saber is small. I think this um, King Arthur is is very very tall because maybe Figma decided to up the scale because this uh, Gilgamesh from Babylonia is very tall too and his other Fate Stay Night series Gilgamesh he is definitely much shorter than the, the latest version so maybe they're planning to you know increase this the scale I'm not too sure 
But yeah, he is uh, quite, quite tall. Now let's see his articulation. He can go 360 as usual. He can tilt very good. He can look up that much, down that much. His uh, shoulder can go up that much. But because of his hood, if you remove the hood, then probably he can go up way more. Now his arm comes in that much, which is very nice because you can kind of cross it. That is very very impressive. Just that <laughs> if you don't be careful, his shoulder looks like it's completely dislodged. So put them back, put them back. There you go. And he would go back that much. And that's okay because he's wearing an armor. Now his elbow goes that much and his wrist goes that much. And yes, it should be able to go much more higher, but because of his gauntlet or his wrist protector, it's getting in his way. Now, his ab crunch, again, this is a armored figure. I don't expect much, and I think that's decent enough for, again, an armored figure. Twist, twist, goes 360, wonderful. He can open that much, and he can kick that much. But again, his cone shape, a skirt is complete in the way if that's not there he can do much better his knee goes that much which is nice and his foot or ankle goes 360 goes up and back that much and he has a foot articulation overall very good articulation very very good just that um, and I know I, I keep saying this in my other review but uh, I think that maybe Figma might need to um, install a cloth department and I know a lot of company, figure company really don't want to do that because that's a, a completely new department. It will increase the, the price a lot or the cost a lot but again Figma is steadily, they are increasing the price without you know increasing anything else. It's not like we're getting a new technology or something being installed. It's just the price is kind of creeping up. And uh, yeah, so for that reason, uh, maybe, you know, throw us a, a cloth because King, we want them to be sitting. They have thrones and we want, well, Archer doesn't have a throne throne because, you know, the, uh, the night table he had, everybody equal, so he doesn't have something like that, but we want him to be sitting down sometime, right? Like, for example, the Hyakimaru right here, this is also Figma, and Japanese, you know, characters does, you know, they sit down a lot, and especially Hyakimaru also, he's walking outside, he's, you know, sleeping outside, he's sitting outside, but because of his plastic uh, kimono, he can't really sit down at all and again we got Gilgamesh here who is also a king and he had his own throne <laughs> he is absolutely impossible for him to sit down he can't even his due to the well this is a more design thing but again if that was all cloth then he could sit down and it's kind of weird seeing Gilgamesh standing all the time you know he's a guy who's usually sitting down or looking down at you kind of thing so maybe Figma should install a cloth material or something you know else so that we can kind of mimic and better articulation on the on the leg area because I think it's sad because especially for Saber well she, she doesn't she, you know use kick or anything like she doesn't use her leg too much but it's better for us to have some sort of you know option for the great articulation we got because it had a very good decent articulation on the leg and hip just that the material of the skirt is getting in the way and that's a little waste I think but anyhow let's swap some head and face plate so I'm just gonna put this one into the round head and you can see his charming face as usual but like you can kind of see it's the head the hair is really pushed down so it looks like he, his hair is wet or something and that's obviously because we want to put this head into this hood and to have it uh, properly installed you'd Actually, there 
enough space in there, so they didn't need to push it down that much. But, here we go, we got this hood virgin. <laughs> she is charming. So, let's pop his head out, and I assume that- Oop! There we go! <laughs> Just pops out, like so, and I might have a little difficulty installing it properly. Would I? Actually, might as well, I, I might just install the- He also comes with a, not a cape, but um, this collar piece with a very small cape. And it looks like it's almost blowing in the wind design, like, like that. I don't know why they did that, because if you have, you know, um, action in your clothes or haircut or anything, it really limits what you can do because this is going to be definitely he, when he's riding a horse or some, like some kind of action is required to, you know, make sense. And again, it looks nice, but it's, like, it, it's weird because you got all this space open, meaning that he is, you know, either riding a horse, like so, and blowing or he's like in a very big you know wind areas like wind is blowing it looked nice but it would have been better if they if they if this was down um, yeah it's not much of an option I can use this unless he's like riding a horse or something so I'll pop that away But I do like a collar piece like this. And one more thing is that the the connection, this uh, cape material, is good and on so on. But this piece right here is so small. It feels like if I try to remove the metal, not metal, but the armor piece. It might rip the the vinyl-like texture of this thing because it's really thin. Like, look at it; it's super thin and small. So this can, you know, be yanked off easily. So I don't think I'll be using that much. Just a little way too scared. And for the hood, you have this metal piece. You install it right here, like so. Which which this this piece, the hood piece is so small too, so I'm getting a little scared as well. So it's in, and I checked the manual, and it's apparently this is right. But if you look at it straight on, <laughs> yeah, you you can't kind of see his face at all. It's like covered. Um, on the side, it's okay, but if you look in from you know right at the side, you can see this. Hood is pushing his head down a lot, and there's no way around it because this piece that's connecting the hood is pulling it, it's like locked in, so he can't turn or do anything with, with the hood. So, this is like one pose, and you, you can't do anything else with it. It was an awesome, you know, concept, but then the execution, the engineering wasn't that great. It's, 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 um, it's really like like much limited than this cape. Like he, you can, like only way that you can kind of take a decent photo is from look taking the camera from the bottom to the top. If you take it from straight on, it's like what's going on? I can't see this. Like, why are you looking down? Kind of thing. So great idea, very poor execution. Um, yeah, so I don't think I'll be using that hood much at all. Sadly, I was really excited about the hood, but. Not gonna happen. Now, let's change this spiky head virgin faceplate. Remove that off, and we can have his more serious looking head. There we go. So, yeah, here we go. And I still think he is very charming. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah. I don't know how many um, ladies are watching my my review. I, I'm questioned, not many, 
but yeah, it's if you want a charming, you know, male character figure, there you go. He is a very charming figure. <laughs> and yes, he comes with one、uh, pair of open hand, pair of well, kind of resting hand, and pair of sword holding hand. And yes, you get two fist hand already installed. Now, I have limited knowledge with this archer. I don't know. I assume that Avalon, because I see the Avalon mark right here. But Avalon isn't supposed to be a sword itself. It's supposed to be a sheath. So maybe this entire thing is a sheath. I'm just assuming, and this is the Excalibur, and I think maybe because it's using the same handle. So what I assume is this is when the sword Excalibur is still inside the Shis Avalon, and this is when he removed Avalon, and the the blade is.、Uh, Explode. That's what I assume. I'm not too sure. If I'm wrong, please correct me. I really have limited knowledge on this version of Saber, but、uh, you can remove the bottom part like this, like so, and that would help you install the sword or hand easier. Now,、um, historians、uh, have been saying that the current design that we see in fiction and all the movies when it comes to Excalibur is completely wrong. Apparently, it was a one-handed sword, so it, and it wasn't anything that long. It was supposed to be like like very short, one-handed.、Um, the, the back tip would be. Coming right around here and so on. It didn't have this kind of、uh, protection. It was very different. But <laughs> pop fiction, and、uh, again, King Arthur legend is still a legend. It's not proven to be、uh, history. It's more probably a combination of history and fiction merged, and I'm completely okay with that. So it's you know even people say oh it's not accurate it is a fiction and if it's、uh, true then that's much awesome so I am happy to be proven wrong with that but for now I think it is a fiction I appreciate both sides of the story and yes <laughs> this is a badass <laughs> man that is that's quite a big long sword. And well, he is very tall, so yeah. But have, having a knight with two swords like this coming at you is very, very scary. Yeah, looks, but it looks nice though. I like the silver. Very, it's not like silver, silver. It's very toned down silver. So I think it's a really great color choice. And I do love the, the. The collar piece right here, like feathery design. He's more elegant than the 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 female counterpart for some reason, and、um, yeah, I don't know why. It's it's it. He is the proto saber. He is supposed to be the saber, the original saber, until、um, he was、uh, gender swapped, and、uh, they done it done in a very good way, but. Yeah,、um, I was assuming it, the design should reflect one another because they're the same character but different、um, gender. But apparently, the only thing that's similar between them is the the concept of blue armor or not armor but blue in his armor area. Even his armor itself,、um, if you look closely, he had a belt right here. That's a very—I、uh, um, forgot which which country、uh, armor they were using. This is not a typical armor. This belt system did really exist back then, but、um, it wasn't. I don't remember if if、uh, Britain 
how did that design? I'm not too sure. Um, one of uh, one of the few country had that design, but then you see saber and or the female saber, and we don't see that design reflected. And instead, even this this saber has a very unique、uh, left hand ar-、um, armor. It's it's more like the same as Kendo style armor or gauntlet. While you don't see that with the the guy saber. So yeah, <laughs> they're technically unrelated when it comes to design. See, if that saber had the black hair and without without blue, maybe he has a a red you know color. Then no one would think that they're you know related at all, but they are. <laughs> and overall, I'm gonna try to take some photo. But what do I think about this figure? Overall, I think it's a very good figure. Great range, great great range of arm articulation. Like that's a lot of elbow coming in. So you can do this kind of. You can do. Yeah, sorry, you can do this kind of pose, which is not, you know, not all figure can do that kind of、uh, uh, articulation, and that is a really nice posing. And he does have a decent、um, waist area articulation, which is really nice. Pity that his、uh, his skirt does get in his way a lot, but that's okay. And he his. Um, ankle articulation isn't that great due to armor design, but it's not bad. You can you can pull a lot. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, looks nice. I was hoping、um, them to release、uh, more Fate Zero character because they didn't release. Like they release almost no one <laughs> from Faith Zero, so hope they can re-release some of the you know characters back from Faith Zero. Not really re-release, but you know make those characters because I like Faith Zero a lot. But yeah, overall, I would suggest this character if you like to purchase it, go for it because I don't see much flaw. The only flaw I think is his、uh, hood, which was something that I. Really was hoping it to be a a unique piece so that I can put it on like the whole time, but he'll be looking down most of the time, which makes no sense. So yeah, that was a little bummer. And uh, his um, robe or cape is very limited due to the the wind flying style. It's、um, like Morbius from Marvel Legend. His hair is like flying up. And that kind of you know limit the posing because it looks like he's always running or flying around. You can't make him you know just stand because it looks weird. It's, it's something like that. It's this is gonna be very limited.、Um, if they made it a a cone, you know, drop down, then that would be much more effective because you can have him you know walk around or you can kind of pose around with him fighting with it. So yeah, there a little bit of a wasted potential, I would say. But overall, I like it, and I think you will too. So if you like to purchase it, go ahead, and I will take some photos. See you all soon. Thank you very much for watching my figure unboxing photography review. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Currently, there are only six percent of my audience who are subscribed, and I feel a little bit lonely here. So, your subscription will give me inspiration to go on further. Thank you again, and see you all soon. Goodbye. 遊びでやってるんだよ。